The name Flight Radar 24 frequently appears in the news when flight crews lose contact, the airspace is closed as a result of volcanic ash, or a prominent politician embarks on an important trip. Occasionally, the service limits access to the airspace due to the overwhelming number of individuals monitoring it. Let us talk about the story behind the development of this real-time flight map, the role of crowdsourcing, and the potential applications of Flight Radar 24. First, let's look at the method of operation. It may appear that the map containing all aircraft comes from a central database that contains information about every flight global. However, it's actually thanks to thousands of people who buy equipment and send data to the service. Automatic dependent surveillance, broadcast transmitters, which give location, are installed on civilian aircraft to transmit critical flight information during the flight. This data is intended for air traffic controllers. However, it can be accessed and decoded by anyone with a computer and a receiver. Flight Radar 24 receives data from these enthusiasts on a global scale. According to their website, Flight Radar 24's ground network is highly developed, with 40,000 receivers located throughout the globe. Satellite data is the next level of aviation surveillance, and it is crucial for the monitoring of flights over oceans. Flight Radar 24 has already acquired satellite data and is currently in the process of expanding its network. This website has an interesting origin. The online tool that has gained popularity was initially established as a Swedish flight comparison website. Flight monitoring was merely a supplementary feature that was implemented in 2007 to attract users. At that time, Flight Radar 24's coverage area was limited as it only displayed flights in nearby areas of Stockholm. However, the service achieved global recognition by 2010. Following the eruption of Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull volcano, approximately 4 million people monitored the skies over Europe on a daily basis via Flight Radar 24. Now let's look at the flight tracking procedures. The world map allows anyone to watch planes, and basic features do not require registration. Airports are represented by blue markers, and blue planes signify that the flight is being tracked by a satellite rather than ground receivers. The homepage displays a real-time inventory of airports with significant delays or cancellations and the planes with the most viewers. The search bar located at the upper right of the screen allows you to locate flights by route, airline, or airport, as well as to observe aircraft that are in close distance to your current location. Just enter flight or airport details. Flight Radar 24 provides a seven-day trial of its premium subscription unlimited 3D flight viewing, bookmarks for specific locations or aircraft, an ad-free experience, and other benefits are included in the paid version. The service restricts access to non-subscribers during periods of excessive traffic. Additionally, there is a Flight Radar 24 app available for iOS and Android, which includes a mobile version that is equally functional. This app enables users to monitor a flight or an entire airport and to monitor weather conditions that may impact aircraft. Now let's understand if it is possible to monitor any flight. Flight Radar 24 operates within legal constraints. However, certain aircraft, including military flights, state leaders transportation, and other aircraft that have requested location blocking are untrackable. The service has been the subject of criticism. For example, Chinese authorities contended that flight tracking could jeopardize national security. Nevertheless, Flight Radar 24's senior management asserts that any individual can purchase an ADSB receiver online and independently access this information. Their website merely aggregates it. Not only are journalists able to report on the movements of officials or personalities, but also emergency services can use Flight Radar 24 to locate missing aircraft. Now, what else is on the site? The company maintains that its objective is not to serve as the primary source of information regarding aviation incidents. Rather, Flight Radar 24 specialists examine data when media issues arise, highlighting any atypical course deviations. In the event of an accident, flight path records may also be used as evidence in court. Additional resources, such as a podcast, a blog, and videos, are accessible from the primary menu. Users have the ability to observe cockpit footage, tour airports and uncommon aircraft, listen to aviation news, and read industry insights.
Flight Radar 24 enables users to establish a personal log to monitor their travels on the map. In 2015, the organization also acquired Jet Photos, a large aviation photo library. More than 6 million photographs have been submitted by more than 27,000 photographers. If you possess an exceptional photograph, you may submit it to Jet Photos. Additionally, you have the option to submit an application, read setup guides, receive technical support, and become a project participant. A yearly premium subscription is granted to individuals who provide Flight Radar 24 with receiver data. Now, let me give you some tips for observing the website. A red airliner on Flight Radar 24's map indicates a significant issue with the flight. Nevertheless, a plane will also turn red when it is selected. The sole concern should be with aircraft that spontaneously exhibit a crimson hue. The website displays a message requesting that the user refresh the page every 30 minutes. Periodic revisions are necessary to ensure proper functionality as a result of the extensive data flow. In airport mode, each flight is indicated by a color-coded circle. Gray for scheduled, green for on time, orange for delayed, and red for cancellations or delays that exceed 45 minutes. Occasionally, an aircraft is visible during takeoff but subsequently vanishes, particularly in regions with inadequate ground coverage. Flight Radar 24's receiver network is expanding, but there are still deficiencies in China, Iran, Iraq, Libya, and numerous African nations. The route trail of an aircraft is displayed by clicking on it. The trail colors are indicative of the altitude, yellow for 100 meters, purple for 12,500 meters, and red for 13,000 meters. A plane with a dotted line behind it indicates that the altitude is either being evaluated or is unavailable. Now, do you use Flight Radar 24 often? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.